Okay, so now the rain stopped and I think we spent probably about uh, an hour or so in total with the pressure washer um, and it's just drying off now really, but pleased with, with what we've managed to get off. There's years and years of, of crud and grime on this. I've certainly got the worst off. The rest of it will have to be getting off um, or got off, should I say, with probably with the drill and the wire brush. Uh, but certainly pleased with um, with how much colour we can see compared to before. Um, what I'm going to do at the minute is while the rest of the block is, is drying and leave it for a couple of days, I'm actually going to paint the rear T-bar um, with some grey, stonely grey, as I said before. So all I've done on this is give it a good wire brush so far. And then we'll start to give this a paint and uh, it'd be nice to get some form of paint on just to get us started. Um, the wheels and tyres have actually arrived at my, my home address, which is just up the road from where I keep the tractor. So hopefully they're going to go on in the next couple of days as well. Um, and they look awesome, so I can't wait to get them on. But uh, yeah, what's, what's also nice to see, there's quite a few brass components as well um, that we noticed on the power wash. So... These will all get cleaned up as well, um, and certainly masked over when we paint all this, so they should look quite nice. Right, so, a big day today. Um, as you can see, we've got the new wheels and tyres on. So these were from a place uh, down in Kent, Kent Tractors. Um, we've got a set of 12.4 by 28s on the back and six by 16s on the front. Um, completely transformed uh, the, the look of that from the tyre perspective so that's great because the old wheels were as we said not not great so uh, we'll sell them off somebody can use them um, but I want to do a good resto on this so it's not for not for us um, but today we are going to paint the block so we've got the generator ready and we've got the compressor ready and the paint gun um, what I'm going to do first of all we finished cleaning as much as we can now I've got all the grime and dirt off so a couple of jobs this morning uh, just with the air gun is blast off any loose debris anywhere and take a couple of the um, gear gaiters off etc and then I did paint the t-bar the other day uh, just with the brush because it's probably about the worst bit on there um, but apart from that today everything is going to get uh, going to get sprayed so I'll set everything up and then set the camera up and uh, obviously have a look at uh, how it comes on.
Okay, so it's about a, an hour and a half now since the first video. Um, and as you can see, the block is all sprayed. And the wheels are sprayed. Um, the cowling where the clocks are isn't done as yet. Uh, that has to be done red. So that's gonna come off at some point um, before I put the tin work on. Um, but really pleased with the rest of it. Just put the air cleaner and the battery back on as well. Um, and yeah, I'm chuffed to bits with how it looks really. So spray wise, I did, I used the um, Stonely Grey. And just to have a look in here. It's the Vapormatic that I've used. So the va Vapormatic alternative to Massey Ferguson Stonely Grey. Um, I've probably used about, I'd say a litre and a half and with each mixture, mixed it up in the jug, 10% um, thinners, uh, again, vapormatic thinners, and then into the hopper, uh, this little jug here, I um, can't remember what size that is, 500 mil, just do a mixture of 500 mil at a time, uh, into the hopper, and on we go. Um, Pressure-wise, didn't need too much. Came out in a nice stream. Uh, I can't see any runs anywhere, which is great. Um, there are a couple of places that possibly could have been rubbed down a, a bit better, especially the front radius arms. Um, but to be quite honest, it's something I could do at a later date. Really pleased with how the wheels uh, have come out. Slight bit of overspray that I'll clean off with some thinners in a minute. Um, couldn't quite get to the inside of the rim this side with the gun, so I'll finish that off with a roller just to get a crisp finish. Um, sprayed the T-bar again. Um, but yeah, really, really pleased uh, with, with how that's come out. Um, chuffed to bits now. So just waiting on the tin work. The tin work should come, I should have come last week, um, but there's been a delay in that. So that should come in the next, hopefully few days by the end of this week. It's bank holiday weekend this weekend. So once the tin works here, that'll all be sprayed at home and then fitted and then once that's done uh, I'll then send everything off to the DVLA for the number plate and hopefully um, yeah we're getting really close to it being on the road so happy days really pleased with that really chuffed